A&A Ranch, located in beautiful southern New Mexico. With a superior national record, A&A Ranch is ranked by Thoroughbred Times second in the U.S. and number one in New Mexico by percentage of stakes winners from starters. A&A has over two generations of experience in all aspects of thoroughbred and quarter horse breeding, year-round boarding, professional sales prep with an unsurpassed nutrition, exercise, and conditioning program before the sale. ANA Ranch, Anthony, New Mexico. For more information, call 915-539-2176. It's not unusual to find the Bob Baffert Stable running horses in different locations, but this weekend is particularly far flung. Bob is in Dubai and his assistant Jim Barnes is here at Sunlin, so it made us wonder who got to choose which desert to visit? Well, Bob chose this year. Um, he, cho he chooses actually every year. Um, so anyway, I was happy to come here. Uh, I'm familiar with Sunlin and uh, our horses run well here, so I'm pleased to be here. And maybe it's appropriate that Barnes has brought Sinai for the $800,000 Sunland Derby, a horse named for a desert. The mile and an eighth will be the Colts' first start around two turns. Yeah, I uh, really think the horse will stretch out. Um, you know, he's ran, the last two starts were in uh, one-turn stakes. Uh, the San Vicente was his last start and he had to run against the Factor, which wasn't quite fair. That's uh, just a super nice horse, the Factor. And, uh, you know, stretching out, this was the place to come. Prior to bumping into the factor, Sinai got pretty close in the San Pedro at Santa Anita. He's still a little immature at that point. It was only his uh, second start, and, you know, he did have a tight trip. He was stuck down inside, and he's, he never gave up. He still, you know, he kept trying. He could have possibly been second that day. I don't know if he would have won, but, uh, and then his next start, well, well was a San Vicente, and, um, he might have gotten back maybe a little too far that day. And, uh, but Martin's on him. Martin Garcia will be riding him here, and uh, he knows how our horses want to run. There will also be an equipment change on Sunday. The blinkers will go back on. Bob knows, you know, he saw something that he liked there, and uh, he said, you know what, take him to Sunland. And we'll, we're going blinkers on this time, back to blinkers, and, uh, which I think it needs him. He just got, he was too settled without him. And with the blinkers, Sinai's race strategy appears pretty obvious. Well, more than likely, we'll be up front running. With anybody else, I don't know, but they're going to be going fast. If you're going with us, you're going to be rock and rolling. So, so that means Martin Garcia will be gunning from post seven. Baffert seldom sends just one horse for Sunland's big weekend. This year, graded stakes place Plum Pretty will contest the Oaks, and American Story runs in the Harry Henson. So is Barnes predicting sweep? Well, a sweep would be nice, but we'll, you know, we'll take what we can get and, uh, you know, but a sweep would be good. Sunland Park Racetrack and Casino is your total entertainment facility. Enjoy Ventana's Las Vegas style buffet for lunch or dinner any day of the week. Watch and wager on live racing December through April and simulcast horse racing every day starting at 10 a.m. Our casino has hundreds of slot machines to choose from. Open every day at 9.30 a.m. Take I-10 to Sunland Park exit 13. Sunland Park Racetrack and Casino. Just 10 minutes west from downtown El Paso.